Hi, welcome back to my channel Sapninga. Don't forget to support me. Please click on the subscribe button and enable the bell button too. In our previous videos, we talked about the inner planets, which are Earth, Mercury, Venus and Mars. And now we are entering the zone where the gas giants live, our first contestant, Jupiter. This gas giant was known throughout ancient civilizations. It was the third brightest object that was visible to the naked eye in the night sky and can be recognized easily. The Romans at that time named this giant after the Roman king of gods, as we know today, is called Jupiter. Jupiter formed 4.5 billion years ago. It's the largest planet and the fifth planet from the sun. If we had to see how many Earths could fit in our, inside this big planet, then that would be about, um, about 1,300 Earths. So this is a mega-sized planet for us. With a radius of about 69,911 kilometers, it is 5.2 astronomical units away from our star, the Sun. Jupiter is tilted 3 degree which means it's almost rotating straight in its orbit with speeds of 43,000 km per hour. With such speeds, it takes a day on Jupiter called a Jovian day, lost only for about 10 hours, which is very short. But when we look at a Jovian year, it takes approximately 12 Earth years to orbit the Sun once. Jupiter has more than 75 known moons and has a ring system. Jupiter is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. Inside the planet, there is so much pressure and the temperatures can reach up to 145 degrees Celsius. The pressure and temperatures are so great that it compresses hydrogen gas into liquid hydrogen. This liquid then forms large oceans made of hydrogen, which then makes Jupiter the mastermind of making the largest oceans of liquid hydrogen in the solar system. Scientists think these oceans may carry down about halfway to the planet's center. The pressure in this zone could maybe be even greater that electrons are squeezed off the hydrogen atoms, making this liquid electrically conducting like metal. Due to Jupiter's fast rotation, it is thought to drive electric currents in this part of the planet. These currents then generate the planet's powerful magnetic field. We still don't know deeper down if Jupiter has a central core of solid material or if it may be a thick, super hot and dense core. It could be up to 50,000 degrees Celsius down there, made mostly of iron and silicate minerals. Jupiter as a gas giant doesn't really have a true surface. In fact, it's just basically swirling gases and liquids with no solid surface to land a spacecraft. Um, then it will have to fly, but this will not work out either because of the extreme pressure and temperature. It will destroy the spacecraft's fragile and delicate equipment. This is not the only problem. In fact, the spacecraft will be burned and crushed into pieces before it tries to fly around its atmosphere. Jupiter has a beautiful colorful cloud bands and spots. It is arranged in three cloud layers in its skies that taken together spun about 71 kilometers per hour. The top cloud layer is assumed to be made of ammonia ice, while the middle layer is likely made of ammonium hydrosulfide crystal. The innermost layer may be made of water, ice and vapor. The rich vibrant colors we see in thick bands across Jupiter might be plumps of sulfur and phosphorus containing gases 
rising from the planet's warmer interior. Its fast rotation might create strong jet streams, separating its clouds into dark belts and bright zones. Jupiter's spots can persist for many years. Its wind speeds can reach up to 539 kilometers per hour at the equator. The Great Red Spot, one of Jupiter's famous spots, is a swirling oval of clouds twice as wide as Earth, which has been observed for centuries. Recently, three smaller ovals merged to form called the Little Red Spots, which is about half the size of its larger cousin. The Jovian magnetosphere is a region of space influenced by Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. It balloons 1 to 3 million kilometers toward the Sun and tapers into a tadpole shaped tail extending more than 1 billion kilometers behind Jupiter. As far as Saturn's orbit, it is 16 to 54 times as powerful as that of the Earth. It rotates with the planet and sweeps up particles that have an electric charge. Then they accelerate them to very high energies, creating intense radiation that bombards the innermost moons and which can damage spacecraft, but has the solar system's most spectacular aurora at the planet's poles. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft discovered the planet's ring system in 1979. I've done a video about it, the Voyager spacecraft. If you wish to watch, please click on this link. The ring system is composed of small, dark particles and are difficult to see, except when backlit by the sun. Data from the Galileo spacecraft indicate that Jupiter's ring system may be formed by dust kicked up as interplanetary meteoroids smash into the giant planet's small innermost moons. Jupiter has 53 confirmed moons and 26 provisional moons that are waiting for confirmation of discovery. Jupiter's four large moons, Io, Europa, Ganymeda and Callisto were first observed by the astronomer Galileo Galilei in 1610 using an early version of the telescope. These four moons are known today as the Galilean satellites. Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. Ganymeda is the largest moon in the solar system, which is bigger than the planet Mercury. Callisto's very few small craters indicate a small degree of current surface activity. A liquid water ocean with the ingredients for life may lie beneath the frozen crust of Europa, making it a tempting place to explore. Jupiter's environment is probably not conducive to life as we know it is. The pressure, temperature and materials that characterize the planet are most likely too extreme and volatile for organisms to adapt to. But it doesn't mean some of its moons may. Europa is one of the likeliest places to find life elsewhere in our solar system. There is evidence of a vast ocean just beneath its icy crust where life could possibly be supported. NASA launched missions to Jupiter and they are the following with their launch dates. Pioneer 10, 3rd March 1972. Pioneer 11, 6th April 1973 Voyager 2, 20th August 1977 Voyager 1, 5th September 1977 Galileo, 18th October 1989 New Horizons, 19th January 2006 NASA, accompanied by the European Space Agency, launched spacecrafts and they are the following with their launch dates. Ulysses, 6th October, 1990. Cassini, 15th October, 
NASA has one orbiting space probe at Jupiter, Juno, which has launched on 5th August 2011. Thanks for watching. Please like and share my video. Signing off, Shoney.